couple of silly people. I like that. That's funny. All right. So raise your hand if you remember me from earlier in the summer. Good. A lot of familiar faces. Well, if you don't remember me, my name is Joe. Everybody say, hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. And I want to get to know everybody's names, but that might take a while. So on the count of three, say your first name as loud as you can. One, two, three. Yeah. Awesome. Very good. So if you remember, you guys call me Joe. You can call me Mr. Joe. You can call me the Amazing Joe. <laughs> now, if you don't want to use my first name, you can use my last name and call me Mr. Fingerhut. Okay. Yes. What? Why is it funny? It's not like I said my last name was Pizza Hut, okay? It's not Pizza Hut. And definitely do not call me Mr. Finger in the Nose Hut. Okay. All right. What, today we are going to do a magic show. Who's ready to see a magic show? Who, now, without saying me, just by raising your hand, who would like to be a volunteer in the magic show? Me. Oh, don't say me. Now look around at all the hands up. I cannot call on everybody, okay? I will do my best if I don't call on you. Sometimes I go to schools and I call on somebody and the person sitting next to them goes, Oh, man! <laughs> today from you? No. no! If I call on somebody, I want you to clap because that means they are listening. They are sitting with their legs crossed. Everybody hands up like this and hands on your knees. Good. Now, I always start my magic shows. Now, I did a circus show last time. Today, we're going to do some magic. And I always start with a listening test, a reaction test, a reflex test. Oh, who's a good listener who's not talking right now? Who's a good listener who would like to volunteer and come on up? Let's see. Are, are you a good listener? All right, come on up here. What's your name? Bruce. Bruce. Nice to meet you, Bruce. Let's clap for Bruce. <laughs> Bruce, did you, uh, did you happen to see me at the library earlier in the summer? Uh -huh. You did. Okay. Uh, maybe you, uh, we got to check somebody. You can be my example because we, we did this at the library and you're going to help me tell them exactly what's going on. Okay. So is there anybody who's never seen me do magic before? Anybody who's never, ever, ever, ever. Have you ever seen me do magic before? Okay. Come on up. What's your name? Naya. Naya. Perfect. Yeah. What? Renaya. Renaya. Beautiful. I like your shoes. Nice to meet you. How old are you? 77, that's pretty old, okay. Three. You're three, wonderful. So you're 70, 77, how many grandkids do you have? Seven. Se you have seven grandkids? No, that's I'm amazing. Seven years old. Oh, she said she's 17. I think she's in high school, no, got I'm boyfriends. Seven years old. Oh, seven, guys, she's seven. Seven months. She's probably got a dirty no, diaper. Seven. Right. <laughs> no, I know, seven. Okay, make sure you fit in the chair. Go ahead, fit in the chair. Okay, good, you, you, you fit. Now stand up. Now, um, what was your name again? Bruce, do you remember the reaction test? Do you remember the first thing we did? It's a listening test. She's going to do everything that we tell her to do, right? Okay, good. So, and everybody else is going to do it too. Do you remember this? You, maybe you remember this. Just say yes. Okay, good. So, everybody, Naya, put your hands out like this. And everybody, put your hands out like this. Wiggle your fingers. Pinch your nose. Stick out your tongue. Awesome. Part two of the reflex test, put your hands out like this, wiggle your fingers, touch your nose, touch your ears, touch your eyebrows, touch your cheeks, touch your chin, touch your knees. What? Oh, there we go. I always try to trick people. All right. I know, I, I know, I had you touch your toes. Right, okay. So, oh, yes, that's, that's what I meant, elbows, you're right. And now, Bruce. For the last part and the final part, do you remember this part? This is the best part. Maybe you don't. That's okay. Yes, I remember. Okay, good. Naya, Renaya, put your hands out like this. This is the last part, guys. You're doing great. Wiggle your fingers. Put your hands straight up in the air. Keep your fingers wiggling. Good. Now, you stay just like that. 
with your fingers wiggling. And Bruce, you can show us with your fingers wiggling. Everybody else can put your hands down and relax. Now, Renaya, in a moment, I'm going to have you turn in a circle, very slow motion, just like Bruce is going to turn in slow motion. But everybody's going to remind you very loudly, say, fingers wiggling, fingers wiggling. Can you guys do that? Okay, so turn this way in slow motion. Oh, other way, other way. That's too fast. Too fast. Fingers wiggling, Renaya! Too fast. Slow. Turn slow. Slow. I gotta hear you. I gotta hear fingers wiggling. And stop spinning. Stop spinning. Keep on spinning. Okay, keep on wiggling your fingers. Don't spin. Okay. Now everybody listen. Renaya, do you feel the chair behind you? Keep those fingers wiggling, please. In slow motion. Everybody watch. Have a seat. Shh. Go ahead, have a seat. Go ahead, sit down. Go ahead, sit down. Sit down. Oh! Did you guys hear that? Should we do it again? Let's do it again. Pretend like you didn't see that, Renaya. Okay, slow motion, have a seat. Go ahead, sit down. Oh! Renaya, what did you eat for breakfast today? You can put your hands down. Do you guys know what this is called? A whoopee cushion. It's instant comedy. I take it with me wherever I go. I'm just like, hey, nice to meet you. My name is... <laughs> Let's clap for Renaya and Bruce. Thank you, buddy. Thank you very much. Have a seat. Have a seat. All right. All right, time to get serious. I'm going to put this whoopee cushion away. Oh. Was that you? Was that you? All right. Okay, so listen, today a lot of my magic tricks are about um, taking care of ourselves, okay? So um, who, let's see, what kind of food do you guys like? Who likes candy? Oh man, I love candy. But can we eat candy all the time? No, because what happens to our teeth if we eat candy all the time? Yeah, cavity, right? So what do we have to do? We have to eat other things. Who likes fruits? Who likes vegetables? Good. Who likes, what kind of fruit do you guys like? Say bananas, grapes, strawberries. What did you say? That's right. Who likes apples? Me. All right, listen, guys. I brought a great apple for you today. It's kind of a magic apple, okay? Now, if you've seen this before, I need you to keep it a secret with me because there's people who have not seen this apple before and if, if you, you want, you might want to shout out because kids shout out, I've seen this before, I know it. Okay, so we're gonna, can we keep it a secret if you've seen it before? Yeah. All right, so I got a special apple that I want to show you guys today and um, let's see, it's, it's inside a bag here. Now we have to remember, have you heard the saying an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Have you ever heard that? Yeah, if you eat apples, apples are really healthy. And um, I have an apple in this bag. So we got to remember to eat fruits and vegetables, you know, besides like candy and stuff. Well, there's a, a special apple. Watch this. That's right. What kind of apple is it? It's an invisible one. That's right. Do you remember this? Yeah. Yeah, this is yeah. an invisible apple. Can you see it? Yeah. No, of course not. It's invisible. But when I toss it up, I can catch it in the bag. Just like that. If you missed it, I will do it again. And once again, the invisible apple, you just toss it up and reach it out and catch it in the back. Just like that, okay? And the funny thing is, this is like a ball because it'll bounce off the floor. It'll bounce right off the carpet there, invisible apple, up and just like that. Okay. Who is sitting quietly that would like to throw the invisible apple? Oh, not saying me. Shh. Who would like to throw it? Who's sitting quietly? Let's see. What's your name right here? Iron Man. Your name is Iron Man. Perfect. Stand up, Iron Man. Put your hand out. And we're going to count to three. And Mr. Iron Man is going to throw it. And after I catch it, we will clap for Mr. Iron Man. Here we go on the count of three. One, two, three. Throw it out, Mr. Iron Man. Throw it. Oh, yeah. Have a seat, buddy. Sit down. Thank you, Iron Man. Okay, somebody else. Somebody else. Somebody else. Let's see. What's your name in the blue back here? Kiana. Kiana, is that right? Stand up, Kiana. All right. 
Hold it, let's count to three, everybody. One, two, three, throw it up, Keanu. Oh. All right! Okay, maybe we'll do one more. We'll do one more with the apple. We'll do one more with the apple. Uh, what's your name? Have you seen this before? Perfect. Arthur, is it? Did you say Arthur? Carter. No, Carter. Carter. Good. Stand up, Carter. How old are you? Five. Perfect. I like when five-year-olds named Carter have the invisible apple because five-year-olds named Carter know that they have to hold the invisible apple until we count to three. Carter knows he cannot throw the apple until we count to <laughs> Stand up. Maybe I didn't explain myself. You gotta hold the apple, please, until we count the Okay, Carter, I'm serious. Stand up, please. You gotta hold it. Now. Come on up here. Come on up here. Let's clap for Carter. Carter, come on up. All right, now, Carter, now listen, stand over here. Now, I'm going to have you make a special throw with the apple, okay? Now, um, you look like you have a strong, oh, well, you don't even have it. It's still in the bag. He's not, he's, you got to keep track here, buddy. So listen, looks like you have a strong arm. Are you a good thrower? No. no oh, wait, let me ask that again. Are you a good thrower? Okay, good. That's what I thought. All right, Carter. I'm going to put the ball in your hand, and we're going to count to three. I want you to wind up like a baseball player, right? You're going to throw it as hard as you can to the back of the room, and the apple's going to bounce again, so I'll come back into the bag. Do you think you can throw it that far? That's what I thought. Okay, very good. So hold it on the count of three. Here we go. One, two, wait. We dropped it. Hang on a second here. Don't drop it. Keep it in your hand. Here we go. One. Oh, wait. Hang on the other side. Just a second here. Keep it in your hand. Okay. One. Two. Oh, wait. Not in your ear. That's disgusting! Ew. Oh. All right. Now remember, when he throws the invisible apple, these things kind of zigzag. I don't want anybody getting hit in the head with the invisible apple. So I need you guys to duck, okay? You need to duck when he throws it, okay? So, Carter, you ready? On the count of three, you gotta wait till he counts to three and then throw it as hard as you can, okay? So here we go, everybody. One, two, three, get down! Get down, it's coming! It's coming, I got it, I got it! Yay! Wait, stay here, stay here. Now, I know some of you know the secret. Would you guys like to know the secret of this magic trick? Okay, well, let's say, I know you guys know it. Magicians are never supposed to reveal their secrets, but you guys are one of my favorite groups. Every summer I've come to you guys like two times, so you listen respectfully and you behave. I'll give you a hint. Is there really an invisible apple in here? Yeah. Of course not. Carter, put your hands out like this. Watch this, everybody. Watch. The only thing that's in here is open your hands and you gotta, gotta catch it. The only thing that's in here is just a um, spider. <laughs> Let's clap for Carter! <laughs> well, that's scary! All right. So listen. Um, who likes going to? The dentist. Do you like going to the dentist? Sometimes you don't like going to the dentist, do you? Yeah. Well, I... You touched the spider in your pocket. Oh, really? Don't tell anybody, okay? Very good. It's in your pocket. It's in my pocket? No, it's just a toy. Watch out, sorry. All right. All right. So listen. 